It's Phil and welcome to the second video in Tell Me What To Build. For those who just want to submit their vote for the processor, you need to be signed into YouTube and click on the icon at the top right corner. This should work on all desktops, YouTube app on Android and Apple devices or from a mobile version of Chrome. Because of the interactive nature of this project, I will be uploading videos quite frequently. To ensure that you don't miss out, make sure you're subscribed and then click on the little bell below the video to enable notifications. Also, you cannot cast votes through the comments, I'm afraid. Now that we've got this out of the way, let's look at the votes. Most of you want to see the Socket 7 machine, so that's what we're going to do. We have three processors. You can choose between the Intel Pentium 200 MHz, the Cyrix 6X86 LPR200+, and the Intel Pentium MMX running at 233 MHz. We also have a motherboard I picked that for you guys. And what I'm going to do next is just briefly talk about these four parts to give you a better idea and uh, giving you a better opportunity to make an informed choice. The first processor is the Intel Pentium running at 200 MHz. This processor is a little bit special. Back in the day, this was a very expensive CPU and it was very sought after because a lot of people did not have a motherboard that was compatible with the faster Pentium MMX. Um, most had a Pentium 100 or 133 or something like that and they wanted to upgrade the machine but the stock standard Pentium 200 was actually quite expensive. So the Pentium 200 runs at a 66 megahertz front side bus. It's got a 3x multiplier takes 3.3 volts and has 16 kilobytes of level 1 cache. So this is one option you can choose. The other option we have is the Cyrix. It's the 6x86L. This is the low power version with the PR200 plus rating. This is a 150 megahertz processor which has an oddball front side bus running at 75 megahertz and apparently this can cause issues with motherboards and PCI graphics cards. So this, that's something we will find out. In terms of voltage, it uses 2.8 uh, volts. It is manufactured by IBM, but it is a design from Cyrix. It's not a Pentium clone. It's a unique design that Cyrix came up themselves. So very interesting CPU. So if you're interested in this one, cast your vote. And the final choice is the Intel Pentium MMX. This one is the top model running at 233 megahertz. The MMX has the MMX extensions, which some games take advantage of to speed up certain calculations. It has double the cache compared to the regular Pentium with dealing with uh, 32 kilobytes of cache. And it also uses a lower voltage. We're looking at 2.8 volts. And now I just want to talk a little bit about the motherboard. It's an Asus, the SP97XV. Comes with the SIS5598 chipset. We have four PCI and four ISA slots. We also have a choice of either using SD RAM memory, which is what we're going to use, or you can use the older 72 pin SIM memory. The motherboard supports a wide range of voltages, definitely all the voltages that we're going to need are supported by this board. It also has a nice selection of front side bus. We can go from 50 all the way to 83.3 megahertz. And that's it, guys. Time to vote. Are you going to go for the Pentium 200, the Cyrix 6x86 LPR200 Plus, or the Intel Pentium MMX233? Thanks for watching. Submit the vote. And in 24 hours' time, I'll close the poll. I'll give you the results and the next round commences.